So my histo is in 11 days, hard to believe, time's just kind of flying by, and been processing in a different place than I was when I last checked in and shared with you all that I was having it. I said in that last video that I had fear of the unknown, I just didn't know much about it. My doctor, you know, didn't really give me any pre-op instructions, I, I've learned what I've learned from other videos, so... First of all, thank you to everyone who made them, that were sharing their experiences. I appreciate that. Definitely helped put my mind at ease. Now, I'm not so much anxious about the surgery, but more anxious about the recovery. I realize the first 24, 48, 72 hours might be rough. That's fine. I'm more worried about, like, long term. My doctor said 12 weeks for skate park. I think I can skate at 6, but he just, he means, like, dropping bowls and just really physical stuff where you can slam like really hard he said none of that and like Alex Haney said so many different opinions and timetables for different doctors about when you can drive when you can exercise when you can have sex that's another thing I heard you can't have sex for 12 weeks that was quite a surprise just found that out last night don't know if that's true I remember it was about 14 days 10 to 14 days after chest surgery because they don't want to get your blood pressure up all this stuff you don't want to pull anything but down there you don't want to orgasm and just get your insides all whatever, so I don't want to do for 12 weeks. I mean, you can't even masturbate. I don't even know. I'm sure at first I won't feel like doing anything, but that's me crazy. So it's mostly like, what am I going to do for 12 weeks or six weeks, whatever it is. I've been lining up some art projects, some creative projects, web projects, whatever to do to keep my mind occupied, books to read, work to do. Also, planning kind of a big life change it's going to happen very soon after surgery cross your fingers so there's all that but i'm feeling much more zen i'm feeling very calm happy peaceful going into this which is a really good thing i just have i feel like it's all coming together i'm looking forward to that zen feeling dave mentioned in his videos it's empty but not in a bad way like you're emptied of what you were never supposed to have and suddenly you don't have that biological warfare between the E and the T and you just kind of feel this is in peace and then his partner Tiff was vlogging about how he had so much more energy and he was always kind of like Eeyore before and that's how I am and I can't wait to have more energy and to not be so mm -mm. I also heard from some people it's like a second puberty your voice might drop some more you might grow more hair and you may also be able to lower your T-dose so that's really cool Lowering my T-dose will be awesome, but it also brings up the point of now you have no organs in your body producing a substantial amount of hormones, so I will always be reliant on the medical industrial complex for my body, which is something, you know, you really have to kind of think about because I've had situations, you know, moving from San Francisco to Los Angeles, and I had to go without tea for six months, and I can't do that after the histo, so you got to be on your shit, on your game, and... It's something you have to think about. You have to think about where you'll get it. You know, I've thought about doing certain things, whether it's like being a park ranger or something. You have to think about, okay, where am I going to get my tea? Where do you store it? I know a guy that was in the Peace Corps, and he's going to go to Africa, and it, it, there's a whole problem over where would he get the tea? Would it heat up if he got a year's supply? All this stuff. Total tangent. But either way, I'm feeling good going into this feel more prepared after watching videos, not looking forward to the whole gassy, bloaty thing or the bleeding afterwards, but I'm prepared for it. The doctor is very aware of my issues with catheters and the dysphoria it causes me, so he's going to try to pull it out before I wake up. Dave said in his video he has the same issue and his doctor did that and he got really bad bladder spasms. That doesn't sound fun, actually it sounds completely unpleasant, but I'm glad I know. I'm the kind of person with any kind of thing, whether it's medical procedure, or just anything that I haven't done before. I like to know what's going on and what could happen. I don't know if it helps my anxiety or makes it worse, but I just like to be prepared. I don't like it when I go into something or like the dentist and they just suddenly are whoa, whoa, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I feel a lot more prepared. I'm feeling zen, but I'm looking forward to the, the uber zen after surgery. And I just want to check in and share some thoughts on how I'm processing. I will try to document some more thoughts there's not too much to say on it but on the 12th I have my pre-op and then Monday the 16th at 8 a.m. it'll all be gone and then after that it's just smooth sailing from here so thank you everyone for all the kind comments the support 
just everything and the people that shared their videos because it's extremely helpful and uh, helped put my mind at ease. So hope everyone's well. Also, congratulations to Alex Haney. He just had his histo about well on Monday. I'm filming this at midnight, so technically three days ago, but two days ago, and he seems to be doing well. That also kind of makes it feel like all right, all right, I'll be okay. Uh, he's vlogging 48 hours after. I'll be cool. Also, I'm going through this with my buddy Lex. He's my best friend, and it's totally awesome to be able to share this experience with someone and to have someone to talk about it with and to ask questions and just basically share your experience. I had my top surgery with my best friend and it's cool that Lex is having his a month after mine. Check out Wes's video, it's called Histo Bros. It's him and his friend that kind of similar had histos around the same time. Very helpful to watch and compare both of their experiences. So thank you Wes, thank you Dade, Cash, everyone, everyone for uh, posting their experiences. Anyways, hope you're all well and yeah, hope the new year is treating you well so far. All right, peace.